is Thursday night. It's about 10.30. We just rolled into our first choice camp spot and we're getting unpacked and set up for the morning. Uh, we've kind of, we're getting followed by an awesome thunderstorm on the way. And when we rolled into camp, there was an elk in front of us. So cool. It was pretty awesome. So things are lining up pretty good. This is how we roll when we don't have a dog. We don't have a dog this weekend. So it's gonna be nice having a little bit of freedom. We uh, wanted to have the option to backpack in without a dog. <laughs> so he's staying with grandma. But yeah, this is it. Pretty tidy setup. I'm gonna get all this stuff out in the back half of the bed and then we'll just fold the bed down. And it's already made, so we'll be ready to rock. That's it. That was probably less than five minutes real time. Yeah. <laughs> we do have to eat dinner, so we're gonna get our mountain house going, but uh, we're otherwise ready to go to bed. It's pretty slick. Smells so good. Got three things loaded in the pickup. <laughs> <laughs> Got too hot, needed a break. <laughs> it's been hot tamales out right now. Not, I mean, if the bears know what's good for them, they're hunkered down by a creek and they're not coming out until later. I know. Hot. Yeah. The high is going to be 85 or 86 yeah. today. 88, actually. 88. That's what we're about, folks. I mean, all right. would you go out and try and kill a bear in this weather, or would you sit in a lawn chair? We slept in intentionally. We got here late last night. Awesome thunderstorm. <laughs> yeah, it was really awesome. It kept us up, Yeah. which didn't help with the sleep and the waking up. Really cool, really loud. <laughs> I swear, we do care about killing bears, and we will get to it. over here we're not gonna stay overnight just day hike and hang out on that ridge um, watching the area where we saw all those bears last weekend pack in just snacks and a rain jacket it's supposed to storm today so uh just want to be prepared for that but otherwise keeping it light and just getting over there and spending as much time as we can looking at that spot we don't need these today Let's go get a bear. We 
found ourselves in this tangle of a mess. We'll just go up to the top, skirt our way across. So even though we have to backtrack a little bit, it'll be fine because we have to go all the way over there anyway and fighting our way through this mess is pointless. was a lot easier than bushwhacking. Putting these new crispies to the test. Yep, break it just in. came down about a thousand feet so far. last weekend in about 18 hours. So we're gonna go down the ridge a little bit to a spot that is within about 300 yards is what we're hoping for and keep glass this hillside and hope we turn up something that is legal. <sighs> Made it as close as we're gonna get. This is where we're gonna hang out for a while and just watch this hillside. Thankfully we're in the shade and gotta get it, uh, blah, 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 got a pretty good vantage point. If we see something um, kind of in the lower half of the hill, then it's gonna be in shooting range. Um, upper half is marginal. This hillside that we watched 
a bunch of bears crawling all over last weekend and just hanging out and watching. It's just really cool, really cool to be able to be down here. Going from glassing these bears from a mile and a half away to a few hundred yards is quite the difference. It was really cool to watch the sow and cubs, just seeing them munching away and watching that cub climb up the tree was rad. Special stuff, really happy to be out here. Um, and if you're wondering, you too could look this awesome. All you have to do is put a buff, just bring it up to your chin, just put it around your head. You're a sniper. You can't talk about me being a sniper. Well, that's it for tonight. Uh, we did not see anything else tonight, which is a little surprising. So we're gonna hike up here, get ourselves to the truck in one piece and have a great rest come out and do it again as in look for bears again not sure if we're gonna come to this spot again but um, have another great day tomorrow for sure difficult. That's so hot and sweaty and steep. Sweat dripping off the brim of my hat. We're back, folks. Made it. We made it. That was uh, in one or two pieces. We made it. <laughs> we'll take it. You know. Yep. It's a heck of a day, and feels good to be out. Feels great to be mm -hmm. finding what we're looking for. Yeah. It's amazing. We're looking at the moon over here and the stars. <laughs> I think I'm going to take a photo for you guys here. It's so fun and satisfying. It's so satisfying. Mm -hmm. You only get this feeling here from going there. Thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow Yep. for another fun day. Yeah, so that's a wrap on day one. Thanks for tagging along, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching our channel. <laughs> Everything to build up to that. Good morning. We had a pretty slow, slow morning this morning. Got some good rest after our workout yesterday. Um, we just drove down the road a little bit after some breakfast and coffee and peeked across the way and we've got a bear. Jason spotted it. It's we're on this knob that just it overlooks a massive amount of country. Um, and it's on one of the closer hillsides. Perfect spot for us to see. So we're gonna get some phone scope footage for you guys. It's a great start to the day. So we've got a cinnamon blondish bear down here. So we're gonna see if there's any roads in the area that can get us uh, in a good spot to hike into this area. It's pretty extreme country. There could be a good path over, but we'll see.
That bear for the high tailing and across the hillside, he's probably going from one shady spot to another shady spot, and that's the right play because it is toasty. All right, we are officially moving on, hiking out of here, and seeing what kind of trouble we can get ourselves in elsewhere. <laughs> Don't be a jerk. Pick up your trash. No, we've just been driving around looking in another new area, trying to find that great balance between having a good vantage point in a huntable area that's not cliffy and uh, impossible to get a shot from. So area we're in is a lot more timbered, not so open, but it is less extreme. So we walked into this meadow, nothing here. Um, it's been storming on and off all afternoon. It should give us a good storm tonight. Um, and we're just gonna keep checking spots and hope we can find something something that makes sense for us tonight But I'm having fun I'm having a blast really happy to be out here I'm really glad that we're down here and not up at the top right now. We're tucked down here, should be should be better. Still windy, I mean, wind's ripping through the trees, but it's just not quite like being at the top of a, of a mountain on an open knob. So it's about 9.30, took us a while to find a good spot tucked away, but we're here, we're gonna get some dinner and call it a night. That storm last night brought in the cooler weather, finally. That was rad, by the way. Anyway, it seems to have brought the cooler weather. Wish that would have happened a day earlier. But oh well, can't change the weather. Making our way home eventually, but we're gonna take a road that goes 
you know, generally in an area that we can hunt, see if we can see anything, but kind of make the most of our travels today. Yeah, we don't really have time to, you know, go on a hike today, long drive ahead of us, but we're not quite ready to give up on hunting, so we're going to take, uh, the road we're taking is uh, one we haven't been on yet that gets us a little closer to home, so we're going to do that. Some new country. Well, it's Sunday afternoon, which means it's the end of our hunt and it's the end of a weekend in my new Crispies. Crispy Nevada GTX. I've heard a lot of great things about Crispy boots, so wanted to try them out. First thing I did with these things after lacing them up, we went down one of the steepest hikes we've ever been on. Zero break-in. I took these out of the box, laced them up, and they were money really happy with the performance. Not only did I not get any blisters, I, mean, I didn't even get any hot spots. They felt solid. I look forward to putting more miles on these. One of the things that I thought was really cool is this rubber rand around here it comes up so high even over the toe cap. That's one of those areas where I've taken some rocks through the leather in my old boots. Yep. They're solid. They just feel good. A lot of really good ankle support. I've got a trashed right ankle with eight screws and a metal plate in it so getting good ankle support is really important to me and um, these were awesome I'm really happy I chose this model I look forward to putting a lot of miles on them and uh, putting them through the test a little bit more I think they're gonna last a while all right that's it for our hunt we're heading home, just stopped at one, one last spot to get some glassing in. It's beautiful, couldn't help ourselves. Anyway, thanks for watching. Glad we finally got to show you guys some, some bear action. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, and click the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of the videos we're gonna be launching here this summer. Anyways, we'll catch you guys on the next one.